Did you know that the Robotuna was a PhD thesis from 1996? What of Stanford Arm? Are you aware the inventor also created Puma? You know, we're not talking about the sportswear brand, right? We will be idolizing seven humanoid robot engineers and telling you how they brought changes to the robotics world in today's video. Let us get started. Number 7. George D. Duvall George D. Duvall conceived, designed, built, and patented the first industrial robot. He became pro-robots due to his interest in Carol Capek's 1921 play, Rosum's Universal Robots. He spent the rest of his time creating the programmable robot, an idea he shared with American engineer and businessman Joseph Engelberger at a cocktail party. He showed Engelberger his patent, and they then joined forces with the ambition to change the face of work and industry forever. The first working prototype of their brilliant invention, Unimates, was first chosen by General Motors to be installed as their die cast and spot welding handler in 1959, with the follow-up, the Ultimate 900 being installed two years later in 1961. Before long, some 450 robotic arms were installed at GM factories. After some favorable television coverage of their invention, the men went into full production in 1966, selling their Unimet robots to famous tech and manufacturing companies all over the world. Since we have shared half the story, you have to stay tuned for the other party that gave us our first industrial robot. So later, we will talk about Joseph Engelberger, his fascination with automating manufacturing, and his contribution to robotics that earned him the title Father of Robotics. Number 6. Toshi Data Doi Born in 1943, Dr. Toshi Tada Doi was a pioneer in the digital audio space, including being a member of the team that created the compact disc. He later refuted the claim that the CD playing time was determined by Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. Earlier, there was a myth that a CD is 74 minutes long because the creators wanted it to be sufficient for a performance of Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. However, his true contribution to robotics was the introduction of pet robots and running humanoids. Doi built the iconic ABO, short for Artificial Intelligence Robot, in 1998. Sony manufactured the robotic pets from then until 2006. The mainly dog-like designed robots had limited interactions with humans. Doi also designed a running humanoid, Creo, in 2003. Number 5. Marvin Minsky Marvin Minsky pioneered the science of artificial intelligence. His innovation started at Princeton, where he built his first neural network simulator in 1951. At MIT, he founded the Artificial Intelligence Project with John McCarthy. Their project lab is still considered the most preeminent research center for AI. It is now called the MIT Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Laboratory. The work he did laid the foundation for all the incredible developments we see in artificial intelligence and their explosive function in most advanced humanoid robots. No wonder he won the most coveted award in the computer science field, the A.M. Turing Award in 1969. Speaking of those who laid the foundation, the inventor of the first controlled robotic arm, Victor Scheinman, also led a groundbreaking era. Thanks to him, we have robots with inbuilt cameras and sensors. We will present more on him shortly. Number 4. David Barrett David Barrett built the first functional fish-designed robot, which mimicked the shape and motion of a fish. Six servo motors controlled the Robotuna. This invention was for his PhD thesis at MIT. The project answered the question of, what if we could develop a submarine that moved and looked like a fish? The answer has brought a lot of understanding that has helped in the development of autonomous underwater vehicles. Today, thanks to Robotuna, many vehicles underwater use less energy but are more maneuverable than before. The successful designing and building a robot submarine as a school project in 1996 only to revolutionize the industry is laudable. Another laudable idea is that you subscribe to this channel and never miss anything we post on your favorite tech subjects. Try it! Number 3. Takio Kanade Takio Kanade built the world's first direct drive robotic arm in 1981. This arm had all motors within, thus eliminating the usual long transmissions of the time. As well, Kanade is a huge contributor to the world of computer vision and deep learning. Proof that he has made countless contributions to robotics is his work on advisory boards for many institutions, including NASA, PTAC, Canadian Institution for Advanced Research, and ASEP. Currently, he has over 20 patents to his name. 
What else do you know as an invention from Kanade? Can you share some of his other patented work in the comments below? In addition, he won the 2016 Kyoto Prize in Information Sciences. Number 2. Victor Scheinman Stanford Arm, the first electrically powered computer controlled robotic arm, was invented by a Stanford mechanical engineering graduate. Scheinman was the founder of Vicarm Inc., the company that commercialized his 1969 groundbreaking invention. Furthermore, he built Automatrix, a company that designed the first humanoid robot with inbuilt cameras and sensors. Scheinman is also credited with Robot World, a platform for robots to work together. Even as he sold his company, Scheinman worked closely with Unimation, the new owners to launch the programmable Universal Machine for Assembly. Thank goodness that name did not take off. Else, we would not have the sportswear company also called Puma. Number 1. Joseph Engelberger Joseph Engelberger is responsible for the birth of robotics. He is widely credited as the father of the robotics industry. His work ultimately centers on revolutionizing manufacturing. He collaborated with George D. Duvall in 1956 to make and install the first factory robot for General Motors by 1959. The father of robotics always wanted to conceive ideas that reduce the potential stress and danger of manufacturing. Their line would continue to create more robots like the Unimet 1900 which was featured on popular late-night television shows and in engineering showcases around the country and eventually the world. His works were heavily influenced by Isaac Asimov's philosophies on robotics. We know you are into AI news, so here is a video for you! How Rehabilitation Robotics is Improving Cognitive Function